Hey, just a couple hours ago, Apple introduced their new watch. Everybody thought it was gonna be called the iWatch, but it's called the Apple Watch. It doesn't matter what it's called, I want. This announcement comes at a really cool time because number one, I've been looking for a watch, and number two, this little thing by Jawbone, the Jawbone Up Band, the original one, well, it's not the original one. The original one was plagued with problems. This was probably the second or third generation. Finally died on me after about a year and a half, almost two years. And it was something I relied on every day to track my movement, to track my sleep patterns, and track my physical activity. So now, the new announcement by Apple is gonna take care of two things. I'm gonna be able to get a new watch, and at the same time, brand new technology to track everything. Now they never said anything about sleep. Since the API is going to be available to app developers, I'm sure the sleep portion of the health side of things for Apple is going to also be fulfilled. I'm really looking forward to this Apple Watch. It starts at 349 and it's going to be available next year. So next year we're going to have the Apple Watch, which is actually cool because it comes with a whole bunch of different types of bands. You could have the sport band or you could have more of an elegant band. So if you go out for a night on the town, you could look half decent, not like a total dweeb, tech nerd dweeb. You don't want to do that, do you? In regards to the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is something I'm going to be looking forward to as well. I'm going to see how I could squeeze it into the family budget. Just, you know, make a few adjustments here and there. Maybe, hey, you don't need electricity in early part of November. You really only need electricity probably in, in January. So that, that'll help. But that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and more videos coming up in the future.